kings and queens welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a fantastic day it is time for the brand new dlc the ringu chapter in dead by daylight we're gonna be playing it having some fun playing a game for you guys going over the new skins everything like that if you enjoy leave a like down below we're live on twitch right now we're going to be giving away seven dlc codes today for absolutely free join the stream if you want to take part in that and you would like to have a chance to win this giveaway let's not waste any time let's go and take a look at all of the new stuff that is included in this chapter before we jump on into it there are some patch notes from the main uh ptp up to now so let's go ahead and take a look at that first what we have on screen for you guys are changes with the onrio we uh talked about most of these changes already but i wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of it before we jump on into everything the terror radius notably has been reduced to 24 meters we also see that condemn is going to be a little bit more taxing with some of the add-ons being fixed up they reduced the intensity of some of the vfx that way uh, it can help with photosensitivity concerns and they are making a few more changes to some of the perks So this is pretty damn cool to say the least Let's go ahead and take a look at the skins now and see the new stuff that we got So first of all for the brand new survivor we have ourselves a nice little uh, Outfit for him not too bad not too shabby. I still think this looks like Demi I was like one of the first people to message Demi and I was like yo the new survivor looks hella like you and then I guess everybody flooded him with messages I like it. It looks pretty cool And then we got a new chapter for the brand new killer as well if I can find her take a look at this one we have the Rodden Remains. So this is pretty cool. You can see her skull coming out. We also see that the power is now green. So that is super cool. And I really hope that they stick with that. And as time goes, they decide to use the power, change the colors with all the different skins. Because I think that is a super unique thing that they have. Now, I haven't saved up a million blood points as I always do. I was going crazy yesterday, wasting all of my blood points. Uh, and I didn't get an opportunity to do so. But... We move, we continue. Oh my god, look, the sludge is coming out of her as well. That's really, really damn awesome. Oh, this cosmetic is good, man. This cosmetic is really good. I like it. So, we're going to level her up. We're going to go ahead and jump on into a game as well. Give you guys our first impressions of this brand new killer and see if we can do good with her. And yeah, we'll see you guys when we're in-game. Hmm. All right, we're in a game. She jump scared the hell out of me, by the way. I wasn't ready, and she completely jump scared me. I really wasn't ready for it. All right, so this is my first game actually playing her. If you guys remember, when I was on the PTB, I was on vacation, and I didn't really have the best computer to play on, so I didn't really get to fully experience her. So this is technically my first real game of her. So we're going to see what we can do here. Wow, those hands are very odd. Okay, here we go. I love that green effect, by the way. Green's my favorite color, as you guys know, and it just looks so nice. Oh, the skeletal remains as well look so good. So I tweeted out, a lot of people are actually quote retweeting it. I think this is her body when it was found decomposing, which is kind of crazy. We get to see her decomposed body, essentially, which is really, really odd. Not odd, just unique, I should say. It's, it's cool. It's cool, to say the least. I don't know where this knee is going. I don't know who dropped that pallet, but... It is what it is. Dead art, there it is. Figured as much. And there we go. Hi. Ah. Uh, by the way, can we talk about the perks really quickly? I got some of the best perks for, um, like, right off the bat. We got barbecue chili, save the best for last, and the scourge hook. It is absolutely insane. Hey, yo. That is crazy. I think this Nia really wants me to chase her for whatever reason, but it is what it is. But yeah, th man, everything about this feels so good. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the first chapters in a very long time that I'm super pumped up and excited to play. I'm I'm pretty excited for it. Hey, this Nia's not too bad. Not too bad, Nia, not too bad. Oh, I tried it, I tried it. But yeah, the VFX feels good. I like that they toned it down a little bit. It feels a lot more smooth. And uh, I, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm pretty happy with it. We should be able to get the hit on here. There we go. Oh, uh, it feels so nice, man. It feels so nice. I really hope that the Condemned is a little bit more taxing as well. Now, obviously, they made those changes in the patch notes. So, we'll have to see, like, how much better it actually is. So, we'll see. Surprised she didn't drop that there. She might have dead hard. Okay, maybe not. Where'd she go? There you are, Nia. Come on! Let's go put you on the hook. 
Uh, oh, we got a nice shark hook right here. Now, I tried to get the Mori, but I ran out of points. As you guys know, I didn't have the most amount of points, sadly. So I ran out of points a little early on. We're gonna do a little swap. Don't mind little swaps. You wanna take, uh, say the best for last hit? Okay, never mind. I don't know what that was about. Okay, just DC. Bye, out of my lobby. <laughs> we'll see you a little bit later. Listen, I normally am nice when the new killers and stuff come out, but I've been really trying to just understand the new killer, play them, and figure out if I'm good or not good with their power. And I, I, I just don't have time to be nice in every single match when people want to see the killer, sadly. Because you're going to be seeing this killer all day long. So I, I apologize in advance if anybody's just trying to look for the killer. I'm not trying to be sweaty. I'm just trying to learn and understand the killer. And if I farm or be nice every single game, I'll never fully understand how to do that. All right. So I'm going to use her power a little bit more. Remember, they also get condemned and we get a little bit of a speed boost every time we come out of those uh, TVs. Now, there is only five gens left. So maybe we can take our foot off the pedal a little bit here. Uh, let's try to see if we can get some plays going on. I want to see if we can get the quick Mori on someone, considering we don't have a regular Mori, because that would be pretty cool. All right, near miss there on the David. Come on, David. Where are you going? All right. Yeah, so the goal here is to see if we can get somebody condemned, essentially, and we can try to Mori them. That way we can get at least one half of the Mori down, where we just kind of look at them or whatever. I think that would be a little bit cool. Uh, I'm assuming David has Deadard. We'll have to see. He does make it to this pallet here, though. I'm pretty sure. Hiya! Ooh, we got lucky. We got lucky there. I'll take it. All right. Uh, we could put him right here. Okay. So so far, the power feels really smooth, really nice. You know, obviously we're not playing against the best of the best survivors. No offense to them, of course. Uh, so we can't really gauge it just yet, but it, it's feeling pretty smooth. It's feeling pretty good. Wow, that TV is right next to two of them, which is really nice. Oh, I think they're just running. I'm just going to kind of wait around. We'll kick this. It's cool that she doesn't touch anything, like ever. She never, ever, ever touches anything, which is kind of cool. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to wait around until someone goes for the save. There's the Nia going for the save. And then I'm going to teleport to that TV as soon as she pulls him off. So that way they both can get a little bit of condemned. There we go. We come out of here now. Hello. She got borrowed time. Hit the Nia. Uh, let's see if we could do it again. This should technically be 8 meters. Or what is it? Like 12 meters? I, I don't really know what the distance is. But we should technically have been in range so for her to get a little bit more condemned. Like I'm just trying to build the condemned up a little bit more. That's all I'm trying to do here. Uh, let's go over here. I'm just going to constantly teleport to the TVs to see if anybody comes around and we can try to get something going. As soon as I see that bar turn red, I'm going to see red and we're going to just go straight for them. Oh, somebody is here. Hello. It's the Nia. All right, if we can get her to walk there. I don't know if that's close enough. Um, I don't think so. She's just looping where she was. Do, 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 do. Breaking those pallets. Ah, uh, the power, it just looks so cool, man. Like, this is the first, like, I, I, I know I am keep saying it, but this is the first chapter I'm super excited for. Like, everything about it feels good. I just wish we had a map with it. I feel like if we had a map, it would have been so good. I love the green effect, by the way. It is just so nice. It looks so good. I'm so happy about it. Bonilla, where are you going? She comes back to drop that. No, she doesn't. I think she might. Nicely done, Nia. Nicely done. Ba -ba 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 Hi there. Alright, so we don't have too much more TVs to teleport to. I just I just want to mori somebody. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it. It typically happens more later game if survivors aren't really paying attention to their bar, but we'll have to see. Okay, so they're both over there. Oh, we can go right there. Hi there, friend. Hi, Nia. Bounce landing? Yes, indeed. All right, we're going to demanifest quickly. Let me see if I can go into any uh, things. I don't think so. All right. There we go. It sucks that the Jeff did DC. Like, this game could have shaped up a little bit differently if the Jeff didn't DC at the beginning. I don't know why he did. He's just going to have to wait five more minutes to play against the new killer. 
It is what it is. Alright, so David is the last person. The easiness to just teleport is really, really nice. It, it just feels so smooth as well. So far, I'm I'm really liking this. I'm really enjoying this. David's just waiting by the pallet. Hi. <laughs> I wish I had a Mori too. I feel like I, I'm not showcasing it enough for you guys. Oh, he's just breaking the hook. Can I more you, David? David. Let's see if we can try to get him to Mori. Get more able. I don't think he'll let us, but we'll see. Hey, hey, David. Oh, he's just running. Okay, we'll just murder him then. Well, we could give him the hatch. We could give him the hatch. David, you want a hatch? Okay. Let's go give him the hatch. But yeah, guys, what are you guys feeling about this DLC? How are you guys feeling about this? How do you guys feel about the changes? Things like that. Yo, David, stop wiggling, man. I'm trying to give you the hatch. Again, we're live on Twitch. We have seven codes to give today, seven codes to give tomorrow. Uh, as I said, we're restarting our stream. So please, please, please come on out. It would mean the world if you guys came and showed your support. We've been trying to get back into it. Like, we haven't been streaming for such a long time. We've been on vacation. We've been relaxing, enjoying ourselves. But uh, I think it's time that we finally, like, buckle down and start streaming again and everything like that. So I want to bring you guys some entertaining-ass streams. So make sure you guys come on out. Yesterday, actually, we got 10 4Ks in a row. It's been pretty crazy. But yeah, as I go and kill this David, he clearly doesn't want to get the hatch. Um... And this is going to give you guys a little bit of a mini update. We got a ton of announcements coming this month. We're sponsored by Gamersub, which is cool. We're sponsored by Verder Gear. New Jeopardy video coming out featuring Matthew Cote, Cauliflower, and Linksy. It's going to be pretty cool. Tons of other announcements coming out. Back streaming on Twitch, doing all that fun stuff. And, um... Yeah, we just got a lot of cool things. We got a lot of cool things for this month. We're starting to post on Hover, on TikTok again. Second channel is going to get a crap ton of uploads as well. Stay tuned for all of that. It's going to be pretty damn cool. That's my mini update. I hope you guys have all been well too. I hope you guys have been chilling, doing your thing, enjoying yourselves. And this month has been treating you guys good. Happy International Women's Day as well. Uh, there we go. The new killer. What is the mouth doing? <laughs> it looks so odd. I was trying to get the David ads. He didn't want it. GG's. I feel bad that I did murder some of them so early on, but well played to them nonetheless. The new chapter is finally out. Go ahead and take a look at it for yourselves. It feels pretty good. It looks pretty good. And I'm excited to learn more about this killer, play her a little bit more, and understand everything a little bit better. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe for some more DVD content. Again, codes will be over on Twitch. We're going to be giving them away all day today. So make sure you guys do come on out. As always, I'm the king. I tip my crown to you guys, and we'll see you in the fog. Take care, everyone.